Hey, the Brave Master here, and this is going to be Barnazo, SD, Rockley, Springtime of Youth, um, episode 3 review. Yes, it was a good episode, it's very funny still, so keep on going with this, I, I do I do like this, I do like the show, you know, it's, it's pretty good, it's pretty good, it's pretty funny. So, um, yeah, basically, uh, there's a two-parter, and one of, one part of the episode was about Negi's and Rockley's, um, you know, rivalry, and, and the other episode was more about, um, Tintin, actually, and about them being more, um, like more of a gentleman around her as opposed to how they, how they really are around her. So, um, yeah, this episode, the first part of the episode showed um, Neji and Rock Lee's um, rivalry and that, you know, he never really was able to, to defeat Neji, as we all know that. So, you know, um, but he wasn't trying to fight him or anything like that. But he ended up um, having this one to fight with them because he had a little altercation because of uh, Sakura. Sakura's like, oh wow, he's very, he's very dependable and he's really, he's really nice guy. He's pretty, he's pretty cool. And so that Rock Lee's like, what? And so, so was um, Naruto, and he's like, what's going on here? He's like, no, we can't, we can't lose this guy. I didn't think of him as a threat, but now, now we're gonna have to do something. And so, you know, <laughs> um, Rock Lee and uh, Naruto were gonna train together. And so they did a training for about a week, and the and um, Neji accepted their challenge to fight. So Rock Lee's um, challenge to fight him. And so a week passed and everything, and he ended up coming back. And he's all well. Actually, no, they were observing him at first. And one of the funny scenes about this uh, about the episode <laughs> that really cracked me up about it was that he was trying to see who like how they compare to him to um, Neji, and like they're in a, the bathroom stall and they're walking in and everything, and, he, and Neji's already um, using the bathroom. So Rock Lee and Naruto kind of like you know got two stalls right next to him, and they look down, you know, as they're peeing, and he's like, "Wow, you know, he really is a big deal and stuff." He's like, "His God gives um gave him, he's he, God has um gave him um a good fortune because you know, but he's basically what he's saying, you know, you know, I'm getting that, you know, he's, they look down and yeah, they saw something that they didn't really want to see anyway. So now they're all depressed, and also um he wears bo um Negi wears boxers, and Rock Lee wears still tighty whities so uh. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty funny. So the, the week happens for them training, and, and um, Rock Lee comes back, and Rock Lee's like all steroid up all of a sudden. They're, they're like, "What the heck happened to you?" And he's like, "Yeah, I did intense training for the for the whole week and everything." And and so did uh, Naruto, but Naruto's legs weren't as like as fit as uh, Rock Lee. So he's like, "What well, Why why is why is only upper part all um, bulky? What your legs aren't?" And he's like, "Well, I was only supposed to do half the training. So that's what I did, and so he only got half of the um, training done." So. <laughs> Yeah, he, they end up starting to fight, and uh, basically, uh, those muscles aren't real muscles. They're just inflatable muscles, and he, he got poked to death because, you know, the trigram. And he's like, oh, and it's like all the um, arrows all coming out. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> and so, you know, just inflatable muscles. And so, uh, um, Rock Lee's like, okay, I'm going to have to do this. He goes to Byakugan because, you know, Neji does Byakugan, so he's trying to go Byakugan by, like, striking his eyes out like and stuff like that. And then, uh, Rock, and then for some reason, Neji, he was just, like, Wow, I can't believe this! It's like, what's he gonna do? What, how, why is he? Why is he doing this? It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. It's like he's all having a deep thought about what he was, what he, what his actions were. You know, what Rock Lee was trying to do, and then he ends up, um, um Rock Lee ends up headbutting like a bunch of times and everything, and but it ends up knocking him out along with Neki. So it was just a draw. And so at the end of the, end of the part of the episode was that uh, Neki realizes he, you know, he trained really hard and. You fight. You fought him for all this time, and you finally got to draw on me. So your training has improved to a point. So good job. And Rock Lee's like, oh, yay! And and Naruto's like, yeah, you're really good. Now I'm, I'm not gonna let you guys um, go ahead of me. I'm gonna get strong so I can beat both of y'all. And like, ha ha ha. And and so that was the first part of the episode. The next part of the episode was Ten Ten's episode, which is funny. We don't really know too much about her, but Ten Ten's episode is you know they Neji and Rock Lee. They're not really they're not really gentlemen around her. They're not really. You know, they think of her. They, I don't know. They don't really think of her as a girl, as what it seems like, because they're like just walking around um, with their boxes showing. Well, Neg well, Rock Lee was doing that anyways, and just taking off the shirts and all that crap. And you know, Sansa's like, "What's going on here? Why, why, why you acting like this?" You know, because <laughs> yeah, it's like you, know, you should be like a girl, be more feminine. I mean, be more uh, gentleman like and stuff. Be more gentlemanly and stuff. And so, um, that was like the whole part of the episode with that and and. So they're trying to they're trying to do that actually they're trying to be more gentleman like but then she's like this ain't gonna work because you know you're, I'm, I didn't ask you to be a slur my servant and just be more gentleman like and so you know it's like then Rock, Rock Lee had a thought he's like wait a minute instead of just trying to be more gentleman how we just make you a boy and then uh freaking Negi he was going along with this for some reason like through all this and he's like okay yeah that's that's actually pretty smart I'm like 
really? And so they try to uh, put this hat, this little cap, ball cap on her, uh, put a little mustache, look like Hitler, uh, and some weird goggle glasses, and just the, with the suit, look, it look, it look ridiculous. And she's like, well, yeah. And she, she tries to like a guy, so he's like, well, yeah, I guess this will uh, make us where, you know, um, no, no one will think I'm a girl. And he's like, wait a minute, we're not supposed to be doing this. Yeah. <laughs> and so she's wearing this um, other outfit that's supposedly supposed to be like, supposed to look like a man, though. She look, look like a man. It's, it's actually a decent outfit, actually. She, she should be wearing that more often if she, if she was the tall, the tall one. It actually worked for her. But, um, yeah, so she's walking around and everything. Oh yeah, the the reason why this um that the, the whole gentleman stuff kind of like came to play at you is because um Tintin ran into these enemies and was taking them all out and you know there was they weren't doing anything and it's like you need and then this girl came was like you need to have your men always around you and this girl's all like chesty and and she, they look weird because it's, it's chibi so it's like uh, you know it kind of it's, it's, it's a little weird but she's all trying to be all sexy like it's like you have your man to protect you and she's like oh and stuff and so her, her man came and was like oh right, don't don't you upset her i'm gonna have to beat you up don't do this and stuff they're all buffed up all of a sudden you're all stronger and stuff and so that was basically the first part of the ep for, the first part for her to why she wanted to wanted them to um do something you know and so uh he, they end up running into him again and Tintin had, had that suit on where she looked supposed to, supposed to look like a man and stuff and and then she's actually having trouble and he's like I need them I need the, I need some help but they were right there actually just watching her and like what the heck are you not doing anything for her? and then oh no not not, not not right there but um that was like before that but uh yeah she was she was getting she was getting kind of messed up a little bit but then uh Tintin and, not Tintin but Rock Lee and and, and Neji come and they end up saving her though at the at, well, before they saved her is that he was like oh yeah Rock was like oh yeah I forgot one thing you're supposed to make to make you a full man. Those freaking underwear on top of her head, and he's like, "Yeah, there we go. Now you can be a full man." Ha! Ah, I forgot all about that. And it's like, really, tidy whitey? He's like, put on her head, and so that made her like so mad, and she defeated the enemy, all this, you know, like that. But there's something that that Rock Lee said that you know, kind of made her comfort comforting the devil before the fight was that um, Rock Lee's like, "Well, I." I see you're so strong anyway, so I didn't think we need to be at them like this and, prote and protecting you because she wanted, um, you know, them to protect her. And so she, she's like, well, that made her feel kind of good that, you know, she, they rely on her to, you know, fight and stuff. So that, that, that kind of made her happy and everything. That's the whole episode. And so nothing really changed between them two, between them. They're still, they're still a team. They're still together. So I'm, I'm looking, looking forward to the next episode, though, because we're going to see some um, Guy and some Kakashi. Cause I was wondering where guys gonna be coming in this, cause I haven't seen him in, in, in a bit, and he looks kind of weird, chibi though. But I like to see this. Looking forward to seeing what the next episode has to offer and how fun it's gonna be. Um, stick with me to watch the reviews and talk about Naruto SD Rock Lee Springtime of Youth. This has been um, Rock Lee Springtime of Youth episode three review. Um, leave a comment below and tell me what you think of the episode. A like if you like this review and subscribe to my channel for some more Naruto SD Rock Lee Springtime of Youth. So yeah, until then. Breakout.